Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, my series, Rule the Waves. Uh, this uh, current one, uh, we are playing as uh, Austria-Hungary, uh, still in 1901, uh, November. I'm not exactly sure how many turns we got in last time, but uh, we are currently trying to invoke a war with Italy uh, as, so we can use that as a path of expansion in the Mediterranean. Uh, we have uh, gained a treaty with Germany, uh, which should help us quite a bit. Uh, by the way, we're going to uh, we're gonna lower intel effort on them, just to save a bit of money. We don't have to worry much about them. Uh, so, let's get back into it. Uh, I don't remember exactly what we were doing last time. Uh, wasn't, I mean, we're, we're currently trying to get our cruiser fleet on, like, up to snuff. We just got a new destroyer line uh, with a higher displacement. Uh, and our battleships are still horrible. So uh, let's go to the next turn. All right, we just uh, selling us. Mm. We can't afford it, unfortunately. Okay. So I don't uh, We're going to wait on having that one come back. Actually, we're going to. I'm going to change this a bit so, so we can see a bit better. Uh, yeah, I, I want to build up some cash because we're a bit low right now. Uh, an erratic scientist of dour dispute offers to sell us his latest invention on hull construction. <sighs> I mean, it's only one turn. Who knows? Uh, yeah, one never knows. Uh, the why? Okay. International gathering and sailing regatta and competition. This will strengthen our international standing and less intentions, but the money to finance the event will be taken from the naval budget. I actually don't want to do this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do that, because that will lower tension, which will lower our budget. It's not good for us. Okay, we got one more month before our battleship comes off of the slipways. Uh, been caught in the USA. I think we should deny any involvement. All right, and with that uh, off the slips, let's put this heavy cruiser back up and keep going. Come on, Italy. Like, do something to piss us off, please. I want Italy to be our first war. Because we can't win against anyone else. I mean, well, actually, maybe we could with Germany, now that I think about it. Uh, okay, so we're getting a lot of technologies, a lot of savings on hull construction and machinery, which is good. Uh, our new destroyers are just about off the slips. Okay, so it's actually faster than uh, than its listed speed, which is good. Uh, it's submarines, so we got early coastal subs, which... Eh, think about it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do. Because, uh, I mean, we're in the Mediterranean... Which is actually probably the best place for this class of sub. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll put ten out. It'll I mean it'll take a year for them to actually come out, but uh, you know. So again, double bottom. Uh, <sighs> Jesus, it's not bad. <laughs> We're I, actually let's check this. I want to I want to know. Like let's look at our naval budget compared to everyone else. <laughs> We're we're not even half of the lowest. I mean, we're barely half of the lowest possible budget, which is which is Italy. Uh and they've got they've still got three battleships in the slips. Another four heavy cruisers, three more light cruisers. Yeah, they're they're on point for they're on point to having more ships than us. Ah, uh, we actually need to. Uh, Increase our destroyer count, because we're a bit low on those. At least compared to Italy. Yeah. Let's build another couple of these new destroyers. Uh, let's keep it to three of them. Three will be fine. Hey! Another increase in our dock size. New Italian ship. A minesweeper. Which doesn't, I mean, yeah, it's a minesweeper. Yep. Medium wing turrets. Secondary wing turrets of up to 10-inch caliber. It's not bad. Actually, with 
<laughs> that'd be better than our current battleship's main armament, which is kind of sad. Uh, let's keep going. Yeah, we. I mean, we're getting good shipbuilding industry because I mean, we've gone from starting thirteen thousand tons and only increasing our dock size manually once. We're already up to eighteen thousand tons. It's not bad. Uh, new British ship, heavy cruiser Leviathan. Wow, that's not bad. That's thirteen. That's almost thirteen and a half thousand tons. Twenty-three knots. Jesus. Pretty heavy belt and deck, and that that main armament is not bad. Hmm. I might I might steal that. <laughs> that's that's not bad. Uh. You know let me, how many do we have? You know what? Let's see if we can build a better battleship. Because our current ones are all horrible. It's like straight down the line. And this one's no better. Oh my god. Really? That's it that's what it spits out? A three gun battleship. What the fuck, Ostra Hungry? Uh well let's let's strip this thing of everything and let's see if we can build a better one. I'm gonna make this Gonna make this an eleven thousand ton ship, and we are going to delete these these whatever these are because they aren't they definitely aren't a main battery. This isn't bad though. The armor's not bad. We can actually actually increase this to a twenty knot battleship, short range, cramped accommodation, but it's it's a quick little bastard. Ten inch. I like the ten inch main battery. So let's add a turret. Let's add a forward double turret. Okay, that's fine. And then let's add a double aft turret. All right. No, hold on. Do we? Okay. Uh, okay. So, hmm. What? Why is it? Why is it giving me? Wait. Wait. What? Huh. Let's make it a twelve thousand ton ship. Maybe. Maybe it's just too small. Maybe it's too small. Or actually, maybe it's the main battery. If we increase to 11, do we have 12 inch guns? Why is it? Is it because there's no. Uh, actually, not understanding this. Let's give a 6 inch secondaries. We're going to do 16 of those across. And we're going to give uh, 3 in? Yeah, no, we're, we're going to keep the tertiaries off here. Is this a battleship? Okay. All right. Okay. So this is a battleship. I think it was the secondaries that were throwing it off, but actually we're going to take that down to 12 to a more reasonable size. Okay. So we still have 800 tons of space. We could make this armored as fuck, or we could normal. Yeah. Normal and a medium range. It's not bad. Okay. Okay. So 20 knots, what we got right now, it's 12,000 tonner. Uh, good. Okay, let's increase the ammo capacity just so it's got some staying power. A hundred tons. It's got a hundred tons of spare. I mean, we could decrease this a bit. Sixty-one tons spare. It's not bad. Secondaries are good. Kanye Tower is pretty armored. The belt's eh, the belt is actually a bit light for this era, but I mean it's our first one. I don't know if I like that one quality. It's all okay. I mean, oh, uh, you know we're gonna do this. We're we're actually gonna do this, and uh, we're gonna call this. Who is on my Discord? Uh, we're gonna call this Snow. We're going to call this the Snow Fox class. And we are going to save this. Everything's okay. Now, this will be expensive, so we're just going to put one out right now. Okay, so we have the Snow Fox being made. It'll take more than two years, which will probably be pretty bad. Uh... uh Yeah, we're not going to agree to anything. 
I don't want a naval disarmament conference. Like, if you don't know anything about this game, uh, or if you, you haven't played it, uh, naval disarmaments can happen, and they can impose restriction upon you uh, of both tonnage, maximum weapon capability, like maximum weapon sizes on various ships. It, it's it's not fun. Well, it can be if it works to your advantage, but as I'm trying to build up, it, it wouldn't help me. Oh, okay, so we got the uh, rate of fire improvement, which will help with some of our double turret cruisers, which we don't have the tech for, and we suffer a rate of fire, rate of fire penalty on. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. Uh, oh, okay, 6 inch range fighter, that's not bad. Uh, well, let's see here. Let's see, can we keep this going for just a little bit longer? Okay, the Magnus has been commissioned into the Navy. Can we guarantee victory over Russia? I mean, yes, we can, but I definitely want to... Uh, definitely want more money. Okay, let's use that spare budget just to build up some, uh, some of a, uh, little buffer fund. Okay, so these Vulcan light cruisers are almost off. I mean, we're building up, but Italy's building up just as fast as we are. Though we outnumber them in heavy cruisers now, and our light cruisers are not far behind. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Not for ourselves, right? Of, uh... Hmm. Yeah, we could... But I I can't justify spending that money. Okay, so we got a snow fox in production. Let's build another one. Let's have two on the slips. The Magnus finished her working up, which is good, or his, I, I guess. I don't want to assume the gender of the ship. Uh, actually, where's it at? There it is. So we have two Magnus-class ships, which, uh, if I remember correctly, are not bad. Yeah, these are our 9-inch uh, main guns. These, I'm, I think, I'm going to be using as, like, screens and raiders. Uh, now, I, I have the I have the mindset of, like, a, um, of World War II Germany. Like, I like heavy raiders. Uh, instead of sending out just light ships, like, uh, light cruisers and, uh, and such for raiding... I think sending out like a big uh, heavy cruiser or even a battle cruiser for raiding is pretty useful. Or at least that's my mindset. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so Russia's got a pretty crap... I don't even know how to... Like, I don't know if it's bad or not. Like, that's the thing. Um, I mean, the, the guns look bad. Uh, but, I mean, they're only six inches. They're just encasements. Uh... 24 three inch guns. I mean, it's like a machine gun side, I guess. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, I love, I love the ship designer in this game. The the amount of things that can just be spat out, uh, and the AI will use. Uh, well, like whether or not they'll use it correctly or usefully. I mean, that's another story. Um, uh, yeah, Kaiser ideas floats the idea of uh, improving relations with Russia, making some compromises and standing issues. See us getting better relations with Russia will make Italy our main uh our main opponent. So yes, let's lower tension with Russia. And uh I guess let's keep well actually hold on. Alright, so we've got a shitload of our ships off the slipway. But I'm just gonna save money. I think I think that's better for us right now. German government is offering to sell us the rights of. Uh, mm. Actually, we can afford it now, so let's do that. All right, so we we, we got better torpedoes, but uh, we're not heavy torpedoes anyways. Yes, active mine warfare. This is golden in the Mediterranean. Like in the Mediterranean, mine warfare is actually very good because of the limited amount of space you're working in. It's a lot better than if, like, uh, you're talking about, like, the east coast of the United States or northern Europe. Uh, it's much more useful there. A lot more chances to use it. 
what that means is like uh, mines are kind of uh, automatically placed around that. Okay, so our first uh, our first submarines are being deployed, which is good. So our first run of ten. Uh, concept of a reheater. Uh, well, I mean our subs. I actually kind of want to build more because. We're in the Mediterranean, so coastal subs will actually be able to use the entire Mediterranean as as a uh, as an area of operations, which will be very useful if we deal with Italy. Again, we need to we need to push for Italy. God, this this design is horrible. Uh, high dental seal, so weight saving, advances in submarines. Thank you. I probably would have liked that like one turn ago. Uh, that one's actually good. Gradual shell increase is good. Now let's go to the next turn. Deny any involvement with the French. Kinda wish Italy had better anti-spies so they would get caught, and then I could use that as a basis to increasing tensions, but I, I guess Italy just sucks. Kaiser has made a foreign policy gap. You should smooth things over. Divert attention. Criticizing policy of yes. This is what I was talking about before. You wanna you wanna do this if you want to war with somebody. Oh look at that. Okay. And I still think Italy is what we need to focus on. They've they've definitely stepped up their shipbuilding. But. I think we still have the advantage because I'm not an AI and I think we can I think we can win uh, especially with um, the snow fox class I think the snow fox class is good enough I think we could definitely use that to our advantage so we're making three three million and we've got uh, submarines being made right now uh, and what is our deficit what is our main deficit against Italy other than battleships because that's always going to be a thing uh, heavy cruisers and light cruisers, and we're equal in terms of destroyers. Uh, well, I mean, we could with light cruisers. You know, we're gonna build a light cruiser. We're we're gonna see if we can build a better one than the one I've been using, which I think is the Vulcan. So let's auto design this. Uh, hmm, hmm. Not sure I'm good with this. See, what I'd actually prefer... See, I know... Uh, hmm. If I could get, like, a double turret... A double five-inch turret on the forward and back of this, I'd like that better than I like all these spread-out ones. But I, I don't know if I have a better choice right now. I mean, the, the, the secondary guns are good. These are good. It's not that fast, actually. Then I look at it, it's really not that fast. If we can get it, can we get it to 5,000 tons and increase that speed? No. Five and a half thousand tons? No. No, that's pretty, that's about as fast as it's going to go. I mean, it looks good. Like, mostly, doesn't look any, doesn't look that bad. I mean, Connie Tower is a bit heavy. But it's, I mean, it's not using that much weight. Uh, okay, so a light cruiser. Light cruiser. Let's see. What uh, What do we got? Light cruiser. Who do we name this after? Uh, let's name it after... Well, let's name it after... Midgeman. The Midgeman class. And everything looks good with this. So we are going to save this. Yes. It's a little heavier than some of our other light cruisers, but uh, it is faster. So let's uh, let's put three of these on the slips, and let's keep going. Okay, so we have another French battleship, which looks weird. Wow, these uh, these secondary turns throw me off. Are throwing me off. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad though. It's slow. It's a bit heavy, and it's a bit light on the armament compared to the Snow Fox. But, yeah, it's it's not that bad. Definitely could use some work. Uh, let's see here. 
in a construction of the Sengiano top speed at 20 knots, belt armor 4.5 inches. I think we already knew that. Uh, battleship uh, Andre, Didor, Andre Dora. And, Andre Dora. Fuck it. Uh, 18 knots, 9 inches of belt. So a bit heavy. A bit heavy. Uh, if, uh, it's really no concern of us. Yeah, no concern of us. Yeah, Great Britain can take over Cuba. That's fine. See, they took over Cuba. Let's keep going here. Okay. Some Russian reports. Okay, uh, rumors, telling scientists of troublemaking principles of capped AP projectiles. I don't think we have that either, so it's a good thing that that's happening. Kaiser has returned from a state visit to Italy, bringing home a proposal to solve outstanding sources of tension between our nations. What are your... Uh, we don't want to be at peace with them, Kaiser. Yes. Yes, we're close. We're getting close. Next turn. Uh, Italy. A lot of destroyers. One more. And they rebuilt the battleship. Okay, so they're rearming some of their older designs, which we might do in a bit. I think I would want at least one or two more texts that apply to battleships to really uh, go ahead with that. We've got eight more months before the Snow Fox is out there. We could accelerate production, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll drop a month off. Central firing, which is good. Uh, it's a little... It's a little late. Kind of wanted it. Would have wanted it a bit earlier. Uh, okay. So, uh, oh. Okay. Okay. We have to make a choice now. I'm not sure if we're at eight tension or nine tension. Because what this, what it, what it essentially means is, once you get to ten tension, I'm pretty sure that are twelve. Either way, once you get to a certain amount of tension, war sparks off. And the way you can kind of play this is that tension. You see these little pop-ups here. Prestige plus one, or you see the, the the plus, the amount of pluses represent the amount that adds. So this will add one tension. I think we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good. Like, uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's to 12. So we were at 10 before, now we're at 11. So if we gain one more tension point with Italy, war will happen. Most likely. Most of the time. Uh, and rem and you also have to remember tension can sometimes spark off uh, randomly, just naturally. It can either go up or down, kind of randomly, depending on random number generators. I'm not exactly sure the exact mechanic. Uh, is under construction. Yes, that that'd be central firing control. Uh, Italian ship, a light cruiser. Okay, we haven't seen the light cruisers yet. When they're uh, they're pretty normal actually. Little light, a little faster than most of ours, but uh, it's not bad. I think we can deal with it, though. Okay, so they got they have the knowledge of face hardening, so I know we got that one recently, so I think they're a little bit behind in some areas of tech. Hopefully it's... Hopefully it's a little bit behind in areas that uh, that we're ahead in, that we can, uh, we can utilize to our advantage. Okay, so we now have 20 submarines in the Mediterranean. Where's port? Yeah, no, we will fully support Germany against Italy. Uh, so we'll increase our budget. Prestige down. Yeah, yeah, tension. We're going to go to war. We're going to war. Okay, so we're at war. Germany is with us, so that should help us a lot. And we have our first fleet battle. Hmm. Oh, no, we're not going to go for a fleet battle. They outnumber us by almost two with battleships. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Convoy defense. Medium-sized battle. We have about the same number of heavy cruisers and light cruisers and destroyers. Yes, we'll do that. Just so we can get some combat into this episode. Okay. All right, so we've got uh, our destroyer wing. We've got a wing of uh, heavy cruisers. So uh, this is the Luthana class. A light cruiser and a light cruiser. And 
we have our convoy division. So what I normally like doing is just to step it up by five, five minutes. Okay, so we have an unknown ship spotted. They're going. Okay, they're going up. Okay, all right. So let's let's think this through. Let's put this one on a line ahead. They're supporting AI Cruiser Division One. So that so the so the Zenta will move on behind the Nova, the 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 Novara. Uh, these merchants. We're going to have to get through them. What I want to do is I want to Squadron Max move down. We're going to Squadron Max and our heavy cruisers. We are just going to go, we're going to plow straight ahead. We're going to see what happens. Okay. We definitely know them to be Italians. And nobody's hit anything yet. Okay, so we have an identification. So the other we have the uh, we have a destroyer going twenty knots. All right, they've caught up with each other, so we're going to have them hook in behind them, and we're going to have the heavy cruisers hook up to try and uh, squeeze them out. Okay, so it's mostly destroyers. We have two heavy cruisers here. Oh, okay, so we have a turret disabled in the... Uh, okay. What does the Nerova have again? Yeah, it's just its five-inch five inch battery. The Zenta has a five-inch battery. What does this one have? So it's got the turrets of the six-inch battery. Uh, I think... I'm not sure about Italian heavy cruisers. So okay, we're going to we're gonna reverse that. We're gonna have the heavy we're gonna have the heavy cruisers hook down, light cruisers hook up. Just because the heavy cruisers here. Okay, so we got an identification on a heavy cruiser. These are four eight inch main guns in turrets. Hmm. That's not good. But it's a five inch it's a five inch belt. I think we've uh we do not outdo them on the belt. Okay. Oh, alright. So let's keep going here. All right, we've hit them. I don't know if we penetrated them at all, but uh, we hit them. Now, their light cruisers are hooking up there. What I kind of want to do is detach these guys, move them to Squadron Max, and keep them as a screening force for these light cruisers. Because their light cruisers are uh, pretty standard. What I want to do is I want to get as close as I can to their destroyers and then hook up. What we're going to do is we're going to broadside them with three turrets on at least some of these guys. All right, hook down with those guys. Down here. When we hit them again, I don't think we actually damaged them yet. Okay, so we medium damaged a destroyer right now. Uh, okay. Actually, hold on. I'm, I'm just going to bring this up just because... Uh, just because it's a little bit uh, quiet right now. We'll do that. Uh, hopefully that's not too loud. Oh, crap, I forgot. Ah. Okay, so we have a, a maximum sighting range. All right. Well, let's hook down here, because that's all we've got left to do. We have to keep them away from those convoys. All right, so the destroyers are going through us. I don't think that's smart. All right. So
something's launching a torpedo. I think we're launching torpedoes. Oh, shit, we're launching torpedoes. Oh, shit. We have friendlies behind the enemy ships. Uh, all right, we hit a heavy cruiser. I think we missed with the... Yeah, I think we missed with the torpedo. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these back on AI control. And we're going to loop back these guys back towards the convoy. Let's see here. Hopefully they don't get to the convoy before we do. I think they were just hooking up through us. We did launch a torpedo, which is kind of rare for this time period, because the AI is not the best at controlling their own torpedoes. Okay, I mean, we're doing all right here. There's not really... anything spotted. We just had kind of a meeting engagement and then they kind of bore right through us and then didn't turn around to engage. So I'm wondering if uh, we damaged some of them. What I want to do is I want to go up to this flag here just to double check. Alright, so we got another merchant division. We don't have any objectives. Okay. Unknown ship opens fire on a small merchant division. Okay. I think they're there. Come on. We need to get there. I think I may have just left... Well, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, I think I may have just uh, left these guys. Okay, so it's just overcast. We have a lot better view range now. Okay, never mind. Yes. 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 All the destroyers <laughs> just go pick up pick up sinking merchants. And our light cruisers as well, apparently. What are we sighting on their ship? Where's... Alright. They're coming back to us. Let's see if we can... deal with these guys. So they did just sink an entire convoy, because I'm an idiot, and I thought they had uh, gone past it. Alright, so we did just hit one of their destroyers pretty badly. Now, our wing turrets, I think, can shoot forwards, I think. Yeah, I think they can. The weather... Well, what's the top speed of this thing normally? Yeah, okay, so doesn't matter. Nobody can go over 26 knots. Which is good, because I don't think any of us can go over 26 knots, and I definitely hope none of the enemy can. Yeah, no, we definitely... Uh... Yeah, that destroyer did not have a good day. And, well, that destroyer's annihilated. Wow. So let's keep going after this guy here. Yeah, I guess we'll pick up survivors. I'm definitely running over time, but... Uh... 
Uh, what turn is it? Uh, well, I mean, we kind of fought these guys off. I think. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to be dealing with us. I don't think we're going to be dealing with them anymore. I think they're, uh, they're gone. Yeah, it's major victory for the Italians, because I'm an idiot. And uh, I kind of left that convoy by itself. I was chasing them in the dark. So they, they killed seven transports. Wow, that was not good. Uh... Well, let's uh, head off here. Let's see. Yeah, I gave the enemies a lot of EPs. Uh, but that was the first turn of the war. We'll see how this goes next time, because I'm over time. So I will see you guys next time on uh, Rule the Waves.